Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. So I hope you're all having a wonderful Easter once again. Wherever you are in this great, great world, we're going to talk about XRP. And I'm going to start with this. XRP is up over 6% within a single year. It has outperformed every savings account of every bank in the world. And yet people are still crying about it. You know, that's why I always said it's better to store your money in crypto than in a savings account or a checking account. The bank is not going to make you rich. Crypto can make you rich. In the coming months, we're going to watch crypto take off. All of a sudden, you will 10, 20, 30, 40, 50x your money at a very fast pace. The bank does not offer that. And that's why the banks are failing. More and more people are pulling away from the banks all the time. And if they're not getting into crypto, they're getting into gold and silver. The younger generation is using cash apps instead of the traditional banking system. And, you know, as time continues to move into the future, less and less people are going to use the banks at all. Wait until you can buy things and use your crypto directly on a daily basis. I'm talking about once mass adoption gets here for crypto. Quarter 2, 2024 Institutional Investor pre Presentation Highlights Tech Disruptions and Payment Industry Timeline. Look at this timeline. This is where we're at right now. ISO 222 adoption, biometric payments, DLT, and cross-border payments. And people still think you have until 2025 to get invested. They're already talking about in-car payments this year, micropayments, variable direct debit. You know, if you're sitting on the sidelines still waiting for 2025, you're going to be paying a much higher price for XRP. From R3, we expect 2024 to be the DLT behind the scenes year. A key outcome will be more live CBDC issuances globally. 2024 equals continued momentum to diversify into digital assets and more activity by commercial banks in CBDC projects. This year, things are happening very fast. We don't even know everything that's going on because a lot of it is still happening behind the scenes. And we're not getting those big announcements either. And that's why I'm always urging people, get invested now before time runs out. Google's mind-blowing quantum computer. Google's quantum computer Sycamore recently completed a calculation within just a few seconds. The same calculation would take the most powerful supercomputer today 47 years to complete. The quantum financial system is coming. It's going to run on quantum computers. And everything at that point, if you're not invested in crypto, you are going to be tied to the CBDC system living on universal basic income. That's what's coming. And that's why it's so important to get invested before time runs out. Swift will be put out of business by Ripple. Take a listen to this. And someone at the back stood up and said, this isn't matter at all because you're all going to be put out of business by Ripple. And I'd never heard of Ripple at the time. And I thought, and they said, Swift is going to be put out of business by Ripple. And I thought, that's quite handy. I'll phone up Swift and see what they think. That'll make a good story for the paper. And Swift said, actually, we're taking this really seriously. We think it could affect us in lots of ways. And they were publishing white papers. They still are publishing white papers. That's as far as they've got. But now what's going on is Swift is willing to work and collaborate with Ripple because they want to stay relevant as time goes on. And Swift has been taking Ripple very seriously. And people still don't understand that. People always try to downplay it because we're retail investors. People in, this, in these communities, they downplay it because they want their crypto to be involved. They want this crypto to be involved. The problem is Ripple has been building this out, putting rails in place for so many years already. There's so many years ahead of the rest. There's not going to be an alternative to Ripple and XRP. And that's why I think now we're starting to see R Swift come around to Ripple and be willing to work with them. 
because they know if they don't, Ripple's going to continue to steal more and more banks, more and more financial institutions away from them over time. Here's a projected timeline for XRP to reach $100. Now, whoever wrote this is an absolute clown. The year is 2037. Bitcoin is at $1 million. ETH is at 20K. Blockchain gaming is mass adopted. Solana has an ETF. XRP made it to $100. Anybody who thinks it's going to take until 2037 for XRP to make it to $100 is only fooling themselves. It's going to happen so quick. And nobody, I mean nobody, in this space is going to expect it to happen. Too many people are still stuck on previous cycles and market cap. And yet, utility is going to drive the price of XRP. And that's going to be that. And any XRP holder at that moment is going to realize that everything we went through was worth it in the end because you're going to look at your portfolio when that time comes and you're going to be like wow i cannot believe this just happened and i don't think it's even years away anymore you got to remember cbdc's are coming in 2025 once that happens, XRP is going to be moving money. XLM is going to be moving money. XDC is going to be moving money. HBAR, IOTA, ALGO. These cryptocurrencies are all going to be popping off one after another. People aren't going to know what's happening because they're going to be all looking at pullbacks on Bitcoin and ETH. And they're going to be like, why are all these altcoins popping off all of a sudden? utility is the reason why and that utility is definitely coming and don't let anyone tell you any different because i've been showing you everything that's happening for such a long period of time now and all that infrastructure is already built out put in place and yet people still don't realize how big this actually is world map real-time payment settlement systems now look at this map you see fed now you see BRICS, and all these other countries real-time payments that's what every country is looking at right now micro payments as well what did david schwartz tell us micro payments are the low-hanging fruit for blockchain and crypto that's where all the money is right now once this starts to go live all throughout the world at a very fast pace and i'm talking about at a massive pace as well we are going to see certain cryptocurrencies pop off because of this and it's coming within the months now it's no longer years away pacific island nations are moving fast when it comes to adoption of crypto assets ripple xrp due to the region's poverty level it's, it positions the Pacific Islands to lose correspondent banking relationships due to the lack of profitability, solving this with XRP Ledger Stablecoin. Like I said, they're targeting the poor countries right now, the poverty, the countries that are in poverty. Why? Because that's where they're using the testing grounds. You see it in, in Ukraine. You see it in other countries as well. They're testing cashless society. They're testing digital IDs because they're not going to test it in a place like the United States. They're just going to implement it in places like the United States, Europe, the UK. They're testing it everywhere else first. And these countries are going to go live first because they're also looking for a level playing field, part of the new financial system. We're closer than we actually think. Everything right now is being fast-tracked in the background. SEC settles suit for docs over potential crypto conflicts. Empower oversight settled with the SEC over the him and docs. Now, they don't say if they got them or not. And a lot of people are wondering if they got some sort of payment instead. I want to see what comes of this. Everybody wants to see ETHGATE get exposed, and I don't think we're going to get to see it, honestly. I think what's going to happen is this is going to continue to get swept under the rug time and time again, unless we get a different head of the SEC. 
that wants to expose all the corruption that happened before they got there. That's what we got to hope for. And I honestly wanted to mention this in a video the other day. A UK judge froze £6 million of Craig Wright's assets on concerns he tried to evade cost related to a court case that ruled he was not Bitcoin inventor Satoshi. And like I said, I still think David Schwartz is the creator of Bitcoin. But you know, Craig Wright fought the good fight and ended up losing. But we're XRP investors, and like I'm always telling you, you know, if you look at the facts and you stay grounded in the facts of your investment, you can see how big this is. And you could see the timeline for it as well. The timeline is now within months. It's no longer years away. And the reason I keep stressing that is because all over X, people are saying, jump in meme coins now. Invest in this meme coin. It's about to pop off. Don't worry about XRP and those ISO cryptocurrencies. You have until 2025 to invest in those before any of them start moving. I think it's going to happen so much sooner. I think by Christmas this year, we're going to be looking at a much different XRP, a much more high-priced XRP. It's going to break a dollar along the way, and I can't wait for that. That's what I'm anticipating the most, because once XRP breaks that dollar, all of a sudden the FOMO money that's going to pour in, it's going to be such an insane time. It's going to be a great time to be an XRP investor. But it's not just going to be XRP. It's going to be other altcoins as well. And I think ISO is going to start to play a factor along the way. I'm really hoping that happens. But right now, you know, everybody's speculating on this and on that. If you look at the facts, you can see the big picture. But until it all happens, you got to stay patient, stay positive, and let's get rich together. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.